Hello everyone and welcome back to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today I got another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you here. And just want to update you all on the uh, rest of the uh, video series that are kind of going on here. Of course we have the 3D printer vlog which has essentially come to an end. The reason I'm not doing any other type of videos besides the tutorial videos for the time being is because I am mainly focusing on getting the shop uh, moved because I'm going to be moving in about two weeks. So just uh, have a, I'll show you a pic here of the current state of the shop. It's in quite a disarray and just nowhere are ready to shoot any actual vis videos and any physical things besides just I can do these video tutorials pretty easily mainly and of course uh, I've been using this Fusion 360 quite a bit lately just trying to get my feet wet in it and I want to show you all how you can uh, use it to improve your uh, CAD workflow. I digress let's go ahead and start into today's tutorial this is a special little uh, modification here uh, basically I have these Stanley uh, parts organizer bins and they come with like uh, different sized individual like sections. Now more often than not, I'm finding myself needing a lot of these smaller sections. I'll go ahead and show a picture of what I'm, I'll point to what I'm needing here. Now unfortunately you can't really buy these little sections individually without spending a crap load of money. So 3D printing uh, is a good way to solve this issue here. It's pretty easy print here as well. So I'm gonna show you all how to model this individual design here. If you uh, just wanna print this guy out here, you can obviously do that. Um, the Thingiverse link will be in the description, but uh, let's go ahead and get started into it here. So it's a pretty uh, basic shape. It has like a bit of a uh, taper to it on both uh, sides, front and you know, left and right. And of course, the top we have our obvious cutout here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a new file. We're gonna go ahead and start our sketch. We're gonna do one axis here. We'll do our uh, large side. So it'll, this will be about uh, I want to do about 54 at the top, 52 at the bottom, about 40.5 in the height. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to draw a basic shape here. That's fine. Okay. So right click, cancel. I have my connected shape here. Let's go ahead and uh, control select both of those. We'll do a parallel. Now, of course, I can't really do any of these uh, perpendiculars, obviously, because we have our uh, sets here. So I'm going to go ahead and define the dimensions here. So this needs to be uh, trimmed down about 52. And then our top needs to be 54. Now we have a bit of a trapezoid going on. No, no worries, though. Oh, OK. Duh. Let's do it on this two lines here. So I'm just going to define a dimension of about 1. And there we go. So our shape's basically taken care of here. Now another thing I want to do is I want to move this shape. Try to drag it if I can so we can uh, make sure we're on these zero level axis here. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. All right, so that's our basic shape. And now let's go ahead and go back into 3D mode and we'll uh, extrude or pull a bit. Actually, crap. Um, Almost forgot. We forgot to define a top height. So let's do that real quick. So this is gonna be 40.5. There we go, okay. Make sure, yep, we're still good to go. Okay, now we're ready to go. So click our guy here, extrude. Now we're gonna take this, now the side profile will be 38.5, actually, sorry, 39 at the top. 37 at the bottom, but of course um, We're not gonna be able to, to actually uh, cut anything out just due to the taper on this We are going to translate uh, two shapes into one so we can have this taper on all uh, four ang or basically on all four sides here essentially there might be a better way of doing this But of course for now this will be fine So for now I want to go ahead and alleviate any confusion for the time being and get rid of that uh, we're going to create another sketch here, and I'm just going to space this out by about one millimeter out. And then this one is going to be uh, 37 at the bottom.
And of course, as usual, this will be 40.5. Oh, well, before we define that, let's go ahead and parallel these lines. And of course, let's go ahead and move this up a bit. Oh. Zoom in so we don't have that snap. Okay, so 37 the bottom, 39, of course, one, just uh, to find the one of these sides. You don't need to do it on both, just because, of course, that'll over constrain it. Don't really, not really necessary, obviously. So, now we'll go ahead and extrude this guy out here. And this is going to be by our largest dimension, which will be 54. So, as we, as you notice, we have this weird type shape. So, what we're going to do here now is we're going to go ahead and select both of our bodies and then we're going to go ahead and modify and we're going to hit the combine button and then on under operation normally this will be shows join in most cases you want to go to intersect as you notice you have the yellow cutout area hit okay then let's just go ahead and verify and make sure we're looking okay here nothing looks out of the ordinary which looks like we're good to go now we have the uh, cutout here. Now what you could do is you could repeat this process just um, two millimeters smaller in all dimensions. However, there's a much easier way to do this. So I'm gonna select this plane, go to modify, and then go to shell. Then have a look here. And then I want, it so essentially this creates a little uh, shell area. If we notice from the top, it's uh, hip like that. So of course it will make sure that everything is, it'll just cut out a shell and leave a certain thickness. So the thickness we want is two millimeter. And there we go, so that's our basic shape. Now, as you notice, I had a bit of filleting, so let's go, actually, before we do the outside, we wanna do the inside, or else it's gonna freak out and not gonna work properly. So just go pre, just change our angle, hit our inside lines here. Hit our F key or right click and then select fillet. And let's see here, I think, I'm trying to think what I did here. I think two will be, will suffice. Of course, you could always change it to whatever you, whatever your liking is, but I think that'll be fine for now. And of course we hit our outside edges and hit F again. And then I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, what's four look like? It looks pretty good. Um, let's go to top, yeah, it looks good. So there we go, there's our basic little uh, parts container here, and that is just about it. So it just as easy as that, that shell functionality is pretty much, uh, it's quite a time saver. Definitely do like that feature here, pretty neat. Just discovered that last night while trying to uh, make this shape here. It is pretty awesome not have to, you know, buy more of these organizer units to get more of these small little uh, niche -er boxes here, so. All right, folks, I hope you like this video here. And like I said, I do apologize if uh, you've been expecting other types of videos here. But I um, I will be go getting back to like the e-bike build log and all sorts of other crazy projects here once I get the act or move into the new place here. So stay posted for that. And I hope you like this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And have a great day.